What's up guys, David Land here bringing you my third review on these Team Hot Wheels Pro Racing 1998 First Edition cart die cast uh, that are representing of course the 1997 cart IndyCar World Series schedule. Uh, this car is Mark Blundell's Reynard Mercedes-Benz Firestone, uh, which won three races during the 1997 uh, cart champ car season. Uh, they were at Portland in a fantastic three wide finish in the rain, uh, then at Toronto, and then the inaugural race at the Fontana Motor Speedway in California. So a successful car. A lot of people forget about Mark Blundell. He's kind of one of those guys that kind of uh, went under the radar. Uh, he was one of the lost in the split talents, uh, you could say. Uh, he came from Formula One. I think he raced on the Leighton House team, I want to say, or was that Guzelman? I think Blundell... Blundell came from... Blundell raced in F1. I can't remember exactly what team he ran for. Uh, he also ran sports cars. I think he was a Group C driver as well. So uh, pretty accomplished by the time he got to IndyCar racing. Uh, so uh, it wasn't a big surprise when he started to have success. He found his footing on the ovals. Unfortunately, uh, his career just never panned out. The Pac West team kind of went away uh, and fell out of competitiveness uh, because of the Mercedes engine, uh, which was pretty aged by the end of the 90s. Uh, it was the old Chevrolet engine which had come into the sport around 1985. So by uh, 1999, 2000, it was really on its last leg, and uh, Mercedes pulled out its support at the end of the 2000 season uh, for Champ Car, and uh, that kind of really hurt the Pac West team. Blundell was gone by then. I think Blundell retired at the end of 2000. Um, then he's turned up in Grand Am and historic racing uh, since then, uh, but this was kind of his last big ride and his last big uh, attempt to race. The reason I was very excited about this uh, die cast is because, well, first of all, again, Mark Blundell. N what what kind of die cast? Nobody gets a Mark Blundell die cast. I thought this was going to be the hardest car to find, period, out of the set. It turned out not to be. Um, I was very lucky with that uh, big set I got uh, off of eBay to get the majority of the Hot Wheels Pro Racing uh, 1998 Preview Edition segment. Uh, all the Reynards, I'm just missing a Swift right now. Um, so we will be taking a look at most of these cars, or all of these cars, I should say. Uh, and there's the uh, the regular packaging. Same as in on the Michael Andretti car and on the uh, Alex Zanardi car, but I love the artwork on this, and the Motorola scheme is fantastic. I really wish they'd bring something like this back. I know Motorola is not technically in the sport anymore. I think they're an associate on a few cars, but nothing major. Uh, here you go. Uh, Mark Blundell, PacWest Racing Group. They're gone. Actually, they became KV which, according to the rumor mill, is also going away next year, turning into another team, which I won't reveal, but if you follow Indy Lights, you might know what team that is. Uh, Motorola is the sponsor. Of course, the last time we saw uh, them, they were associated with Not My Fault Patrick. Uh, Reynard 97i chassis, Mercedes-Benz Ilmore engine, and Ilmore, of course, uh, produces the Chevrolet engines that are in IndyCar racing now. Uh, born in 1966 in Cambridge, England. Mark picked up for his first three cart wins this season, including a clo the closest finish in cart history at Portland. I think that ended up getting broken at some point. It w didn't remain the closest finish in cart history, um, but it was one heck of a race. If you want to watch the 1997 Portland race, I would highly suggest it. It's a wild, um, wet condition race, changing condition race, actually. Uh, the race starts wet, it gets dry, and then gets wet again. It's really exciting. Uh, look at the 1998 calendar. Fantastic. And some of the more legal mumbo jumbo. So, uh, I am going to get my X-Acto knife out. Again, I like to keep the packages of these Hot Wheels Pro racing cars because they look fantastic. And while they're not very rare, um, I'd rather not destroy the packaging because I'm a big time cart fanboy because I grew up and this stuff caught my imagination. So I'm going to do a cut and let's take a look at the die cast. All right, so here is Mark Blundell's Mercedes Reynard Firestone out of its box. Uh, I am so happy to have this car. Fantastic piece of die cast. Once again, uh, what else can you say? about Hot Wheels with these Pro Racing Reynards. Um, I think I prefer even this Reynard to the Swift 
Um, that was uh, for Michael Andretti that we reviewed earlier. Uh, I just think the Reynard, they just got the proportions just, just right on this car, and it looks absolutely fabulous. Uh, again, this is a super speedway uh, variation of the car, um, which is fine because, of course, this car did win the inaugural uh, Fontana or California 500, which is now Auto Club Speedway. Um, so I guess you could kind of consider this a an inaugural uh, Fontana winner, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I also like the fact that it's number 18. Uh, I like the number 18. Uh, it's not my favorite number, obviously that's uh, 91, but 18 is a good number too. Uh, so fantastic red, white, and blue paint scheme. Let's take a look at the trading card it comes with. There's Mark Blundell looking very schnazzy, uh, very British as well, I would say. Um, so let's take a look at the back of the car, and as you can see, this was a point I was going to make, so I'm very happy to see. As you can see, the car here, um, now PacWest did something interesting about their super speedway, or just their, in general, their, their chassis that were different than the Reynards that most of the other teams ran, and you can see right back here, you see this dorsal fin? They added a little bit of a uh, of a lip to it, I guess you could call it, and it, it kind of extended over the the pop off valve, which is here. Um, PacWest was the only team that ran something like this, and it was kind of interesting to see. As you can see, it's not modeled on the diecast. Um, they've just got the standard straight Reynard uh, rear uh, uh, dorsal fin, uh, but in the real in real life, PacWest uh, had uh, this interesting little bit of arrow. Blundell boasted 95 points after the circuit departed Laguna Seca in early September. In that time, he picked up two wins, snared four top fives, and led 127 laps. Two wins. Picked up three wins, right? Uh, yeah, it says three wins. Like, is, that, is that a typo? Whatever. Uh, 17 starts, three wins, five top fives, uh, nine top tens, zero poles, 3,443 miles completed, and his rank was sixth in the championship. Amazing, you'd have three wins and only get to sixth in the championship. Uh, but fantastic. Not the best photo they've chosen uh, out of these. Uh, it's kind of weird that he's got the uh, the alloy on the front and the flat black rim on the back. But whatever. Oh, Triple A! Hey, remember I was talking about Auto Club? Uh, yeah, I guess he was sponsored by Auto Club. That is not on this diecast. Uh, which we will take a look at now in closer detail. So let's take a look at the front. Oh, maybe Auto Club is on here. Let's see if we can get a focus, and there it is. So um, on the front, you've got the uh, old PacWest Racing logo, Motorola. Uh, let's see if we can, the old Valvoline logo as well. And of course, Mercedes-Benz. Visa was a big sponsor of PacWest in their early days uh, when they had Danny Sullivan run, uh, and eventually they just kind of faded away on uh, on the Pack West cars, uh, less and less sponsorship until they eventually went away. Uh, a fantastic piece of diecast. You can see uh, Lista. I think that's the sponsor there. Um, that still pops up in sports car racing from time to time. They sponsored an RS Spider in like 2008. I think that was the last time I saw that sponsor on a race car. Could be mistaken though. They probably popped up uh, before. There's a little yellow smudge. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, an error, but whatever. Uh, FL, I'm pretty sure those are shoes, some sort of a shoe company. Um, I'm not sure exactly what shoe company. Very 90s shoe company, that's for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, a shoe company in IndyCar Racing. You can see a PacWest logo right there on the red. And Mercedes-Benz, of course. Mercedes-Benz, very famous. Uh, not so much for their accomplishments post-1994, but in 1994 they were the uh, dominant car at the Indianapolis 500. They brought uh, a... a pushrod motor that produced uh, somewhere around 900 to 1,000 horsepower. Uh, that's kind of their claim to fame in IndyCar racing uh, up until this point. You never know if Mercedes could ever come back. Firestone tires on this car. Uh, we will be taking a look at uh, Goodyear shod Reynards at some point during these uh, reviews. Uh, but a uh, fantastic model. I absolutely love it. Very, very happy to have a Mark Blundell. Uh, let's take a look at this car next to the other Reynard we have so far, which is uh, Alex Zanardi. And these are your two 500-mile race winners for the 1997 season, uh, at least in terms of uh, cart. Of course, if we had an Ari Lyon Dyke. Oh, fun fact. Uh, what I didn't say in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, 
Alex Zanardi review was at Fontana, Zanardi was not able to try to do the, the d double facta of uh, winning both the 500 mile races. Uh, he got injured in practice, so the guy who won the Indy 500, uh, Ari Leyendijk, filled in for Alex Zanardi at Fontana, the race that Mark Blundell won, and then uh, Ari got hurt in the race too because uh, Arn Meyer pulled an Arn Meyer and uh, took him out. Uh, but anyway, here's your two Reynards so far. They're both Firestone shod, but as you can see, the rear wing's a little bit more, uh, less askew on the Blundell car, or I guess less trimmed out because zanardi has got bigger uh, 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 constitution than Mark Blundell, p potentially. Uh, but you've got uh, the same chassis, same tires, same wheels, uh, same everything. Uh, so that was just interesting to get those two cars together on screen at the same time. Uh, I am an absolutely huge fan of these fantastic looking Reynards. I can't wait to uh, show off all of them on my channel. Uh, so if you like this video, please leave a like on it. And, uh, and subscribe if you like IndyCar racing, kart racing, racing in general. I do it all on my channel. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we will see you in the next video. Yeah!